Okay guys, so in this binder we are going to have, I know it's probably blurry for you guys, Infinite, K&K, &K, Pentagon, Romeo, Map 6, Map 6, SF9, My Name, Triple H, Beast, or now Highlight, I will keep their stuff together in one spot, B.I.G., You Kiss, 24K, Newest, In Fact, 2PM, The Legend, Big Bang, Mad Town, Top Dog, Victon, Halo 7, 100%, and Black and Boys 24. Oh, so this is like my one-off <laughs> groups. Oh, and a couple other ones. Some of these binders, I just throw everything together in one. But Infinite, I have theirs. This is a bunch of the different Infinite logos that they've had, which I love. And then this is from their... Star card collection. Um, I haven't really gotten any new star cards yet, so that's why I haven't really done a collection video for those. Love these like holographic, like shimmery, shiny. I haven't seen anyone else do one of those yet. So I love it. And Hoya is my favorite, so win win on that. And then reality. It's hard to find these cards without the them being teared like as the whole piece because so I found a lot of just the one half but I want the whole thing so we have our solo and subgroup and then they're infinite only I'm just missing one I'm missing L's uh, black and white card or yeah his black and white card And then from their concert, and then KNK, &K. and then these are custom made sleeves because they didn't fit in a 2x2, two two. so I'll put a little link thing to up there or down in the description on how to make these because I have a video on how to make custom photo card sleeves. I think they turned out really nice. Ugh, theirs is so dusty. You boys be dusty. And then I just put their standees on the back. I'm not really planning to collect the standees. I don't like standees. So I usually don't end up collecting those. And then this is just a Polaroid that I won when I bought the signed copy from M-Wave. They give Polaroids. And then I basically have all these standees. Just randomly. And whatever size sleeves I could fit them in. And then Remain. And then K and K's Gravity. What if I sign copy? So I should be getting that soon. And then their photo cards of them as kids. I'm not sure if I have them in the right order, but <laughs> oh, that's okay. And then they have standees again. Stop it. <laughs> and then Pentagon. Her gorilla. The little ID cards. Mm, Utah is my favorite. Utah. And the, the, this, I don't know what it is with cube and CD plates. But these are some of my favorite photo cards too. Five senses. One of my favorites from Pentagon. Ah, and then I got my bias for their latest album, Ceremony, I believe it is. CD play, and then one member who is not participating because of an injury. And then we have Romeo. And then if you bought the different like group ones, you got the whatever members were in that group. Cars, but I love these because they're all nice and close up. And then their latest one, their one, was it One Fine Day? Yeah, which is a bookmark style. And then Map Six, their latest album, Momentum. I would say either their debut album or the Swagger Time are my favorites, are my number one songs. 
Then SF9, I love this sleeve. I know it has, like, they don't really have a logo other than how they really rate their name. But I just thought it looked cool. So we got SF9, who I am loving. They're hilarious. And then, which one is this one? Burning Sensation. Everything's about sensations. Feeling Sensation. Now we got Burning Sensation. <laughs> And then we're gonna be breaking sensation. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to find out what the next one is. I think I have him in every single album. No, I have the Machne. But oh, well, because oh, I know he's been on the Masked um, Weekly Idol show. He's hilarious if you haven't seen him. So my name, only one. I have a lot of their albums, but only one that I've had so far has had a photo card in it. And then we got Triple H, which is, I don't know, it's not really like a subgroup. I'm not really sure what you would call it, but it has Hyanna from 4 Minute, who's disbanded, tier, And then two members from Pentagon. They did CD plate, and then they did stickers. I got Edon stickers. And then the little pogs thing. And then we got Beast and Highlight. I keep them all in this one section. I don't really have much in terms of photo cards for Beast. I don't know, these like pop-up store cards that I got, and then highlights, um, I like these, sign polaroid style, and then B.I.G., who I love, I love B.I.G., Benji, oh, so only two photo cards there, Aphrodite, and hello, hello, I love that album, too. Really good, really good music if you haven't listened to it. And then You Kiss, I only have one. But you Kiss is probably one of the first groups I listened to as well. Big Bang, of course, and a couple others. I remember watching their videos that they had. They had kind of like a reality-ish show way back then. And then we have 24K. I know he's not in the group anymore. I don't really like when groups get, like when members leave that they replace and add someone new or things like that because then I start getting confused. Because you start looking for the one person and I'm like, where'd they go? I finally got a cover for Kanto. I think that's how you pronounce his name. For his solo album. Well, of course he's a solo artist, but really really good I don't listen to very many solo artists but this album God, it was so good so good and then newest which we have a member from newest in produce 101 season 2 I wasn't sure if I was gonna watch it because I really didn't like season 1 I only made it through two episodes and so I was like, let me give it a chance. I watched it. Oh, I fell in love with some of them. Then we have In Fact. I'll wait till the album comes out to tell you who my favorite is. You'll have to wait. We got their Lollipop, which is a very more cutesy album. And then they went like hardcore <laughs> in the next one. Um, but I haven't really heard much about them since. I mean, I don't really keep up on Impact, but I like their music. And then 2 p.m. I don't really have anything. I have only bought the Gentleman's Game. Just so, just the one. 2 p.m.'s an all right group for me. I mean, they're one or more of an older established groups, but I don't know. Then we have The Legend, which I believe I heard disbanded as well. So, just a couple. And then Big Bang. And then I know Top's been having some trouble. 
because he's uh, in the military now. So only a little bit. Cards that came with a bunch of their made, like the made album, they've done like a trillion times. <laughs> so got a couple of those. Big Bang's like a hate love group for me. I really liked them and then they kept having so many scandals that I just stopped paying attention. And then we have Mad Town. Buffy's my favorite. S slightly because of his name. Because I loved Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> so. Mm. Welcome to Mad Town. Alright, Top Dog. I think one of their members competed in Produce 101 as well. Produce 101. Why do I keep saying Produce? It's probably because I'm hungry. <laughs> produce. <laughs> oh, man. I think it was like their rappers, because he looks familiar. I don't know, because the only groups they really hyped that were from other groups was Newest and... Um, Hot Shot. And I've been very into Hot Shot after watching them on that show too. Then we got Victon. Sorry, I keep getting sidetracked. But <laughs> uh, if you haven't seen the video, I don't know his name. I'm very behind as always on names. I should like slap myself. But he has a video with Leo from Vix where they did the Pepro kiss game where they have the stick and they have to Oh, oh, it gets me all giddy inside. Just thinking about it. That was so good. Oh, and Leo's always so shy with that stuff, but... Oh, so sweet. And then we have Halo, who just came out with an album, which I am loving. Just saying. But I'm not really going to collect all their photo cards right now anyways. I'm not... It's like, not a thing, so I just have theirs set so it goes this way and then this one it's such a cute card though so I like when I found Halo I like bought all their albums in one go then here's their newest one here I am love this photo book really really good I think I flipped through it maybe about two three times already since the unboxing and then we got Seven, and I remember my first song by Seven is where he sings that song where he's like, I'm back on the microphone, t -t -t -t, whatever that song is. <laughs> I'm not going to make you listen to me sing it, but that's the first Seven song I ever heard. So I got that, and then 100%. They're not that popular, but I like their music, so I support and then they got some Polaroid ones. Not Polaroid, postcard. Gosh, I can't talk today. M Black. I don't have any M Black albums, but since Thunder was part of M Black, I keep them together. Even any solo work and things like that. And then Boys 24. I just got the TV show that is about putting Boys 24 together, so I'm excited to watch that and see what that show's all about. So I have quite a few cards. This one was the same in all the versions that I got, or at least the first ones. My signed copies didn't come with that card, but I got both the group cards and I got a bunch of the members for Unit Black. I know Unit Black was in an actual like winning group because it was like the sky, yellow, green, white, something like that. But, yep, and then I got my standees. You got one in each, so I just double-sided them in this two-card sleeve. I'm going to have to make a custom sleeve for them to sit in nicely, but I'm just leaving them in these for now. But that is it for this binder. A lot of different groups. A lot of different groups. But there we go on that. Whew. 
Hey guys, so this is the Icon binder. So all that's in here is, of course, Icon. <laughs> uh, so I did put the mobs photo cards. That was like the Minho and Bobby, like, I don't know, duo group. So I put Minho's with Winner and Bobby's I put with Icon. And I kept the stickers in here with the packs to kind of be my cover image because I like to have my cover images. I'm thinking about changing these up too. I mean they fit fine in the four card sleeves but I kind of just wish it was a little bit tighter or easier especially for these one card sleeves. These are probably the hardest ones to try to collect when they first came out. And this is from their Coney Summertime. It's like a big sticker. And then these are the photo card and Polaroid from the... It was like a, in a little pouch. I can't remember really 100% what it is. But I got Bobby's and then Chun Woo's. And then this is from their live uh, DVD, or not DVD, the live CD concert. I get Chan Wu a lot. Chan Wu and B.I. I get a lot. And then... This is from their newest album, The New Kids, I believe it's called. And then the stickers that you could get. And then... This is from their Season Greeting. There's two versions of um, Polaroid cards you could get, and I got the same one in all three packs I got. So I just put the one set in here. And that is it for Icon. There's this a little simpler because I haven't been out as long <laughs> as some of my other ones, but there you go. So as you can see by this cover, we have Vix and B1A4. I don't have too, too many groups that are just like a couple in a binder, which is why only some of them have covers, but usually ones that I really like to collect or I know I'm going to really collect all of it of, I just put in an own binder just because I know it's going to have a lot of sleeves and stuff in it. So yeah, this is still at the beginning of my phase when I added the pictures. <laughs> that all the photo cards are going to look like. Uh, then on and on. They fit nicely stacked this way, but sometimes they end up like overlapping. But Vix is some of my favorite photo cards. Like they pick their images perfectly for their photo cards. Like these are nice because you can even like pull them out and they fold out into like another image and I love that of course I have a hard time getting the earlier Vic stuff though it's more harder to get especially like the round CD plates from the Rock Your Body And 
And there's CD plate for Voodoo. And then we have Eternity. Error. I still don't think VIX is in order of uh, release. Because usually I do all the Korean albums in order of release and then I'll do the Japanese ones. And then these are custom made two card sleeves. So if you get normal Ultra Pro two card sleeves, these will fit. But it's going to be very, very tight and it might start to damage the ends, which is why I made custom ones to give it that little bit more breathing space. But I knew they'd fit on the two cards nicely. So I'll put a link up in the corner dot thing if you want to see how I made the sleeves. And then I think I have all these photo card ones for this album. I haven't seen one that I don't have yet. I ended up just double siding them. But and then the photo cards, it's kind of hard. Power of the glare. I even have my diffuser up. Chained up. Vix's Chained Up is by far my favorite album by them still. I still listen to a good portion of it. Like I used to listen to all the songs and now it's just down to like maybe my top favorites. And oh, they're just so... Vix has not impressed me as much as they did with Chained Up. Like, as a whole package with album, music, photo book, photo cards. Like, Chained Up, I think, is Vix's, like, best yet as, like, a whole deal. But these are custom sleeves, too. I just made them the same size as the Error ones. Because I didn't want them just sitting in one card sleeves. I think this way is a better way to display them. So you have, like, your Chained Up style and then your Freed version. This one's still my favorite. And then this is their three-part mythology set. Only missing one photo card from it, too. Just missing Hong Bin's, which I just bought, too. Oh, so. Soon Vix's collection will be complete. And then these ones I'm still unsure of. How I'm going to collect them because these ones here are from the um, Kino kit style and the ones that are folded which I loved how they were packaged with the little um, extra decal piece but I don't like the folded lines because then it just makes the photo card look damaged to me so I'm still unsure on which ones I'm going to, to collect because once I do, these will definitely fit perfectly in a two card sleeve, custom made one. So, uh, I'm just unsure. Let me know how which one you guys are collecting. But yep, yeah, here's the cute little piece that folded and held the photo card. And then here's the bookmarks. There's the stones and then there's like the flowers, I guess for each member and then this is for Robbie's solo stuff so as he comes out with other ones I'll just put them all in here I won't give them all separate sleeves and then they're Japanese I only have Ken's these ones have been really hard to find but I mean with the Japanese releases I'm not in as big of a hurry to collect them just because I know they usually are more expensive because they're so much harder to get but, yep, I just put these back to back to back because VIX has all three versions had their own set of photo cards. So there's like three for each album per member. So, but this is probably the most complete um, Japanese one that I have. And then Utopia. Again, VIX's stuff is pretty hard to find unless you buy it when it comes out. But I don't know if it's also because they do, maybe they print less copies. 
of them, but these are just my blank sleeves. And then we have their season greeting, which I'm glad. I got very excited when the groups for some of them gave you all the members' photo cards for the season greetings instead of the random because it's already so expensive that people basically sell the photo cards for the, they basically sell for the price of buying the actual season greeting pretty much i mean it might just be a little bit cheaper but oh you basically just have to wait those out and then in vix i have my vix lr because um i love me some vix lr they need to come out with another album i'm <laughs> just saying but they get their own section. Subgroups kind of got their own section within the main group sections. So I have a bunch of the Polaroids from the many copies that I have. I think I ended up getting like three copies. A signed copy, and then I actually bought the two different styles. So I ended up getting three. So here are the standees that I made this more custom. So these were a looser fit and I bought a second one because mine ended up getting damaged on the ends and I kind of wanted one that was a nicer shape. And then these ones are the ones that on the back create the bigger image. So I flipped them so you could see the image as a whole as you flipped through. Even though, yeah, it does have the more gapped spot so it's kind of harder to to see it, but you can get the point of the actual image. And then B1A4, which is a small section. I don't have two, two. I think I have almost all of their albums, but I kind of stopped collecting their photo cards for a bit so I could catch up on some other groups. But my first album I ever bought was actually B1A4. It was their Sweet Girl the flower edition because I watched an unboxing. I loved, I fell in love with the photo book and I decided because I was always on the fence between deciding am I going to start collecting albums or not and so I decided to stop collecting comic books and collect K-pop albums. And it was B1A4 Sweet Girl that made me start collecting. So fun fact for you. <laughs> But I love these. I still need to get them. I really, really, really want to get an all-member signed Sweet Girl Flower Edition one, though. It's on my wish list. And then this was their newest album. Oh, I can't remember what it's called, though. I know it was one of my more ballad pieces, but... And then here's kind of where I have the season greeting. They only did a one photo card. And then um, Sindiel's, I hope I pronounced his name right, his solo album. And then I did get one of their Japanese ones, but I don't think I'm going to continue to collect B1A4's Japanese album, so I'm not going to really give them their own section for photo cards either. I'm just pickier when it comes to Japanese releases, mainly because they always come out with three different versions and it ends up costing, like, $60 maybe more than that just to get all three and it's just not worth it in my opinion but there we go Vixen B1A4 so in this binder we're going to be looking at GOT7 History Monster X Astro Snooper Shiny NCT Super Junior uh, sex keys and MVP. So not too, too many in this one. But it is thick. Because GOT7 and Monster X have a lot of photo cards. <laughs> so GOT7, I love this design logo for them. So I got a couple of their first album. <laughs> None from the next one. I don't think I even have this album yet. And then Just Right, which was the first album I bought, that was signed. Uh, just missing a couple things. The Dream Night, I think these cards are hard to get. I haven't seen anyone selling them. But I have like the limited edition one. 
It doesn't have like a colored number on it or anything like that because I get asked that a lot what number it is, but there's no number on it. And then, of course, they're like Turbulent series, which has a lot of photo cards per member. Like, really got seven? Calm it down now. <laughs> it's a lot. We only have one of the larger card rival ones. And then photo cards from their um, DVD version of the Got7 Flying Soul. And then the bookmark that the DVD version came with. I got Junior, not Junior, he doesn't go by Junior anymore. Jin Young. Ugh. And then the Blu-ray version, which came with one of these hologramic cards. And then these were in the stamp set, like, like literally stamps. And they were beyond adorable, these little stamps too. And then this is from a pop-up store item thing. I have almost all of them. I haven't been able to find the last one that I need. I think it's yu gi -Oh's. Yep, I'm just missing one of yu gi -Oh's for this set. And then we have History, who sadly, sadly has disbanded. They were an amazing, like, alternative group, in my opinion. I loved their stuff. They were very popular in Japan, though. I hate when very good groups disband. It's very frustrating. Because it's like, are they disbanding because of the members don't like each other? Or are they disbanding just because they're not make getting enough sales? Or because they want to do solo work? It's, ugh, I hate it. But I got pretty much all of these large cards. They were very, very, very hard to find and get. I had to, like, scour Facebook groups and Tumblr <laughs> uh, everywhere just to try and find them. Because I had, like, two of this one. Of Dokyuns. Na Dokyun. And I almost have the complete of the cards, the little actual playing card ones. And then, of course, I have signed copies. Whenever I can get signed copies, like all member signed albums, I usually end up getting them because usually you can get them at a better price when they're selling them now from like M-Wave or, yes, Asia sell sells basically the only ones that go on M-Wave. But I like to order mine from Yes Asia better just because... They charge my card when they ship me the item, not when I order the item, so. Let's me save up for it. And then Monster X, my number two bias group ever. They stole Vix's spot because Vix has not impressed me as much as Monster X has been <laughs> since their Chained Up album, so. Oh, I gotta find this X card. I know it is uber rare. But I want it. <laughs> I just want it for my collection. So some of these are upside down because I like to have like images like this facing this way. I don't know why, but that's what I like. And then I'm only missing Mini Hux card. Mm. So my Monster X collection is pretty complete and up to date if I do say so myself but I don't have a lot of their like side stuff but album wise I have like a complete collection oh and I'm so glad they use this nine card sleeve space to like its max <laughs> and they fit so nicely they're beautifully thick 
because they're not some flimsy POS photo card. Their photo cards always look like the album concept. Ah, oh, some of my favorites. So here's the Months X. Live Origins. I actually need to move that towards the back. And then I have the beautiful... I'm just missing one of the group cards. The white ones, these ones, have been the hardest for me to find. Especially at a good price. And then I have custom made, beautifully custom made, photo card sleeves for Monster X is beautiful. And of course I say they are beautiful because that's the name of the album. But, ugh, these took forever. I'll put a link up here down below to, I made a custom, I have a video on how I made these too. But I think they came out beautifully. I'm kind of thinking about changing this to a lighter pink, but I'm just missing one card now for I Am. Oh, I love these. They took so much time. I think I said it took me like four days, four, maybe five days to make all of these. I mean, I didn't save any sleeve space, but I think it looks beautiful the way it is. So it's like each member's all stuff is all together. And then, of course, I fixed, because in the video, I accidentally mixed show news and one hose up. But I fixed it. Gotta keep them looking pretty. But I loved how these turned out. This is like my pride right here, these sleeves. Uh, and the backs I still like because they still look a little bit nice just because the little sparkles here, but. I'm very proud of these. Try to make sure the swirls and stuff all went the correct way. And that all the colors kind of looked nice. Quite a challenge to do this because I only wanted to use the colors from the albums the blues, the whites, or gray, and the pinks. Because they kind of even give you the colors right here. Boom, 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 that's all you get. <laughs> oh. I probably changed the design like twice when I was going through it. Oh, and then we got Shine Forever. And then on the other side I put the stickers that you get. I kind of can't see it, it's kind of getting cut off a little bit. The stickers. I just put them on the back side and then we've got the I'm only missing one for their complete Clan X version CD plates I only really like this style CD plate between the two but ugh so upset by this Von Stacks do not join the trend no CD plates ah I'm biased this is their Japanese album. Of course, I had to get it. Oh, I was so excited when I got my bias. I'm like, life is complete. And then their season greetings. They did, like, postcards. They give you one for each member, which was nice. For something that expensive, I don't like when they do random. It upsets me, because BTS does it all the time. It's like BTS, you're not hurting on money. Use very popular. Help your, help the army save their wallet. <laughs> and then we got Astro. I changed my Astro layout from last time. I flipped two members. Jinjin and Rocky have switched places. Jinjin has bias wrecked my, <laughs> my love and has stolen my top spot. So I changed it. 
the Jinjin's on top. It all changed after our one video I watched. He seems very mature and I don't know. There's something about Jinjin's personality that I just love. They have all of Rockies for one. Mm. But I do really want to collect all of Astros. I really like where they're going right now. Because they've been going a little less with their cutesy image that they started with. And they seem to be going, being more matured and things like that, which I really like. Because their latest, you can barely see the little ID card. Because <laughs> their latest album, I think, is one of their best yet. So I'm really excited for what they come out with. And their winter album. Sorry if I ramble too much, but I can't help it. And then they kind of have these transparent cards. I kind of like the transparent cards, and I don't because I feel like I need to put something behind them just to help them pop. But it's nice. And then I put the covers on the back because it's going to be exactly like nine cards. And I didn't want to do one sleeve, one card, one sleeve type thing. So and then my last transparent that you can probably barely see. And then I think with pre-orders or something like that or while supplies lasted, you got standees. So I got standees, Rockies and Sunhas, Sunhas. Then Snooper. I know they're coming out with a repackage album. Rain of Mind is my favorite. That and Platonic Love have been my favorites. And then of course I didn't scratch these. <laughs> I refuse. And these are just the, you know, the stickers that were in the albums. And we have shiny, so we're going to have Taman's solo stuff in here too. It's basically Taman's solo stuff though. So I have all four of the cards that you get with Press It. One of my top albums. It has some of my favorite songs on it. And then I was so excited when I got Taman for Shiny's one in one album. <laughs> and then... Here's my first Japanese album. This I loved. Taman is just, uh, we just need a photo book of Taman photos. <laughs> he is very, very attractive. And then here's one that I just got, The Flame of Love. Beautiful. I kind of want to watch the music video now. And then I got Key for their One of One, because I think... One and one was their repackage, I think. And then NCT. So here's the fire truck. They just need to add 10 to the group. And NCT 127 is going to be my favorite. Uh, they already are, but they need 10. So I have all the photo cards from that one. And then we have Limitless, but they did more postcard size. And then NCT Dream. And then Cherry Bomb. I can't tell. I can't remember if each member got two cards or one, but... It's Cherry Bomb. And then Super Junior. I don't own any Super Junior albums. But I really, really love He Cho. He Cho? And so I saw the card for like... Three dollars, so I bought it. <laughs> oh, I loved him on Weekly Idol. I love him on Lipstick Prince. I just love. He's just quick witted. It's so nice. And so here's it's Sutskis. I don't know. But they are an older group. That came out with like a repackaged of like some of their best hits, I think it is. So that's what that's from. I really love this like sketched image though. And then MVP. 
They had standees. It doesn't fit in the four card sleeve, so it's like hanging out, but that's why I put it on the bottom. But that is it for this one. Of course, Monster X used to be my favorite. Uh, I need to give Monster X like their own binder. <laughs> Oh, okay, so that's it for this one.